Guildford Live, produced by Guildford Fringe in partnership with the wonderful Guildford Borough Council. Now, Guildford Live is all about saying thank you. Thank you to the NHS staff and all of the wonderful key workers who are working in our borough right now to keep us going and keep us safe during these troubling times. We're also here to raise money for two wonderful local charities, the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity and the Wish Foundation. Obviously, the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity is NHS focused and the Wish Foundation is a charity which I'm a trustee of and it's all about making the arts as accessible as it possibly can be. So, an NHS charity and an arts charity, a match made in heaven, if I do say so myself. Now, the show is, as all our live streams are, completely free to watch, but we are asking you to donate an appropriate ticket price. And we have set up a crowdfunder page so you could do that. Crowdfunder seems to be one of the most easiest platforms to use. I'm going to be doing live counts throughout the show of where we are with our donations. So, so, so please do donate throughout the show and I'll keep you updated how we are going. The wonderful team at Guildford Borough Council have very generously said that they will kick off our crowdfund. And they have already donated £500 to the crowdfunder, which is visible if you go on the page. As I said, I will be uh, doing updates throughout the show to where we are with the donations, but you can go to crowdfunder.co.uk forward slash Guildford dash live. And there's almost, it's also in the um, blurb of the video, which is above me or beside me, depends what you're watching it on. So do click on that link. Um, and also, but while we're at the beginning of the show, could I please ask you all to share this post? Like a normal Facebook post, you can click share and uh, it will go onto your own Facebook wall, which means more people can enjoy the show and hopefully we'll get even more donations. Now, whilst we are, we're on almost 200 people watching, whilst more people join us and before the show properly starts, I'm going to sing you a little song. And I hope you'll join with me in hoping that tonight will be some enchanted evening. <laughs> Some enchanted evening You may see a stranger You may see a stranger Across a crowded room And somehow you know You'll know even then That somewhere you'll see her again and again some enchanted evening someone may be laughing you may hear her laughing across a crowded room and night after night as strange as it seems, the sound of her laughter will sing in your dreams. Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons. Wise men never try. Some enchanted evening, when you find your true love, when you hear her call you across a crowded room, then fly to her side. And make her your own For all through your life you May dream all alone Once you have found her Never let her go Once you have found her Never let her well thank you so much that is safe to say that is my wife in the background the only person in the room i hasten to add um that is safe to say the strangest experience of my life singing to 
my Mac, uh, my wife, of course, <laughs> and my dog Jake. Thank you. Um, so uh, thank you so much for that. If you are there and enjoy the show, it'd be great to know you're there. Please, I can see some lovely comments coming in already, so thank you for those. Do keep the comments going throughout the show. We want to make tonight as interactive as possible, and I will be sharing some of your comments as we go throughout the show. So we have well over 200 people watching now, so it's time to kick off the show. And I think it's time for you guys to get on your feet and do some movement warmed up for the rest of this evening. So push the chairs and tables aside, get on your feet, as we have one very, very special guest. Please welcome to Guildford Live from Strictly Come Dancing, here's Flavia. Hello and welcome to Guildford Live. Thank you so much for joining me today and supporting this fantastic event for our local heroes who are doing a great job at this difficult time. I'm going to be teaching you a dance here into which is a mixture of dance and exercise. You're going to be learning two dance moves and two exercise moves today. So I want you all up on your feet. We're going to be doing the rumba. It's going to be to rumba music. So I'm going to quickly show you the four moves and then you're going to follow along to music. Okay, you're going to take two forward walks starting with your right foot towards me okay we're going to dance a square forward forward side and then we're going to walk back back side we're going to do that again forward forward side back back side quick quick slow quick quick slow fabulous work then we're going to do a rotating lunge we're going to reach up with the fingers up to the sky and then we're going to go down into a lunge position reach up and down and then again all the way to the other side again you don't need to lunge very low here you can stay quite high or you can go as low as you can reaching up and down up and over and up and down up and over and up and down great work then we're going to go back to a dance move kukaracha really simple step side replace close side replace close side replace close side replace close fabulous work and the fourth and final move is another exercise move we're going to do a lunge to balance so we're going to be lunging forward pushing off the front heel up to a difficult challenging balance position then we change legs lunge to balance okay remember you don't need to go very low on the lunges and then i'm going to try some lunges in other directions as well which i'm sure you'll be fine trying to follow along too. Okay, let's get the music on. You're going to start walking towards me with your right foot. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Forward, forward, side. Back, back, side. Forward, forward, side. Back, back, side. Good. Big stretch up and over. Reach, good, other side. Reach up, and again. And up, and one more time. Kukaracha coming up. Good. Use those hips. And again. Lunging. Up to our balance. Good. And again. One more time. Back to the beginning. Walking forwards. Stretching up and over. Remember, you don't have to. Good. One more time. Kukaracha. Good. Use the arms. Into our lunging. I'm going to lunge sideways this time to balance. Good. Back to the beginning. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Good. 
this. Big stretch up and over. Reach up, down, good. And again. And one more time. Kukaracha coming up. Good. I'm going to lunge, slightly turning to the side. Back up to balance. Good. Woo. And balance. It's challenging. Back to the beginning. Good. Last time through. Make it a good one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for supporting this event. Lots of love from me and take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye bye. What's that one? Hold, hold. Wowzers. Oh, that's good on the old thighs, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, Flavia from Strictly Come Dancing, thank you so much for being involved. And I hope you guys are all nicely warmed up. Flavia runs classes all the time, and you can find her company, FCM Fit, on all the social media platforms. So do check them out if you fancy doing some dance fit in your own time. Now, guys, we're still at the beginning of this show. Please don't forget to share this post. Let's get the viewers right up there. I think we're almost at 300 now. And remember, the show is all about saying thank you to all you key workers out there. So if you're watching, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It's also about raising money. So please, please do donate. Just have a look now. We are now on £720 donations already, £500 from GVC and £220 from you guys. If you haven't um, donated yet, you can do so at the crowdfund link in the body of this email. Now, I'm really excited about the next act, who is an award-winning ventriloquist. But, and before I do this, actually, if I keep stepping forward and touching things, it's because I'm doing technical things, going to people's houses and stuff, so apologies for that. But before we go to our next guest, we do have a very familiar face for you. Here he is. Hi there, this is Tony Hadley and I'd like to a massive thank you to everybody at the Guildford Fringe for keeping us royally entertained with Guildford Live and I hope you enjoy the show. In the meantime, don't forget to stay home and protect lives and uh, look after those people that are working on the front line in the NHS and uh, doing an absolutely sterling job. So thank you to Guildford Fringe and thank you very much to everybody in the NHS. Thanks very much. Bye bye. How cool is that? Tony Hadley, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. If we do Guildford Live again, then I'm going to try and get Tony Hadley to do us a, a little song. Thank you so much, Tony, for dialing in. And talking of dialing in, actually, let me just see if our next act is available. Uh, let me just see. Our next act is an award-winning ventriloquist called Max Fulham. He is spectacular. Hi, Max. Are you there and ready? <laughs> well, yeah. And then she said, I don't even like egg. Mm. Well, I had a similar thing when I was younger, because when I was little and I was at the train station, I always used to think that Mind the Gap was fashion advice, when it turns out uh, that it is, and I've never shopped there. Um, oh, sorry, I've got to go. Bye, 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 bye. Hello, Guildford Live. Wonderful to be here with you all. Uh, my name is Max Fulham, and I'm a ventriloquist. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, now, I didn't really know what to wear for this live stream, so um, I've just put on a plain shirt, and um, it's, it's got planes on it. That's, that's the joke. 
Uh, what? Wing collar? No, that would be silly. Now, as I said, I'm a ventriloquist, and because it's quite an interesting thing to do, people often ask me how I got into it or how they can get started. So what I've done is I've come up with a formula which explains exactly what a ventriloquist is. You know, I boiled it down to the bare bones. So, all you need to become a ventriloquist is a puppet, uh, patience, and a lack of uh, friends. That is, that is it. Just a fact for you to start off with. Um, now, before I get started properly, I just wanted to make sure everyone's expectations are nice and realistic. I'm not going to be doing anything mind-blowing for you today. Um, so just before I start properly, I just, I just I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to, well, I just, I just wanted to, oh, no, sorry, it's not, no, try. I just, I just, I just like to, um, no, uh, I'll put it down here. Um, I just like to set the bar low, um, really. <laughs> now, if at any point during this live stream you do need any extra information, then feel free to press the red button, which should be appearing in the corner of your screen. Around. Oh, there it is. That tickles. <laughs> uh, of course, that is not the red button. That was just my hand. Um, now, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Um, it's my granddad. His name is Eugene, and he is um, in this box. So, without further ado, start the clapping from home and welcome my granddad Eugene. Come on out, granddad. I oh, can't leave. You're going to chat to everyone. I've got to have a chat. Yeah. Oh, hello. Granddad, you sit there. This is marvellous. Yeah, it is marvellous. It's wonderful. Yes, it is. Uh, what are we doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? What are we doing? Do you not remember I, I told you. We're, do, we're doing Guildford Live. It's a live stream for a great cause. Oh, that's marvellous. Are we on the internet? Yeah, we are, we are we are on the internet. Yes, are we are we do on the social medias. Yeah, we're on the social medias. Yeah, are we on Facebook? What? F fa face Facebook. 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 Say it properly. I know full well I can't say that without moving your lips. <laughs> Look, no, seriously, I do love Facebook. He does. I love Facebook. It's great. <laughs> All right, now, Grandad, how have you been? Well, apart from these weird times, I've been quite well, actually, you know. I've been in the garden doing the gardening, yeah. And uh, the weather's been quite nice, yeah. We have had some quite nice weather. When it's nice and sunny, it reminds me of my summer holiday last year. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I had a great summer holiday last year. Yeah, it was amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, what, where did you go? What, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got the lines mixed up there, didn't you? <laughs> no, I think you said my line. I think they all know that that's still your fault. <laughs> Look, where did you go? We're going to do the script now. Yeah, we're going to do the script. Where did you go? Oh, I went on a lovely tropical getaway. Where to? Eastbourne. Eastbourne? Yeah. Well, what's your favourite thing about Eastbourne? Oh, the high street. Why the high street? I'm the fastest thing in it. <laughs> Look, what else did you do in Eastbourne? Oh, I went to the beach. It was fantastic. I topped up my tan, because you know what they say. No, what's that? Sun's out, gun's out. Mwah. <laughs> Never say that again. Now, oh no. What? Please don't tell me you were wearing those really tight yellow speedos on the beach again, Grandad. Yeah, I was. Oh, no. No one wants to see that. Well, I suppose it's fine. He's made a sponge. There's nothing down there. Well, get it wet and it'll swell up. No, Grandad. Go that's rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's rude, Grandad. We can't be doing that. <laughs> Look, Grandad, I've been having a think. Well done. I <laughs> I've been thinking and I thought that, you know, I think you should start getting yourself out there again. No, 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 I can't, it's locked down. No, no, no. I mean, after this is all over, I think you should get yourself out there again and maybe even meet someone. You know what? I think you should start seeing someone. Maybe even think about getting married again because they actually say that married people live longer. No, it's just that married people, it seems longer. Oi, you need to find that one special someone who will annoy for the rest of my life. Granddad, there are so many different ways you can do it now. You could go on a dating app or even you could go on a TV dating show. I've done it. What? I've done it. The TV dating shows. I've done them all. You have not. 
Yeah, I went on take me out, but it was no likey, no lighty before I'd even got out of the lift. <laughs> right, I see. And then I went on first dates, but I couldn't get out of the taxi. Why was that? You weren't there. <laughs> right. And then I went on naked attraction. No, 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 no. I did. You didn't. I did. You didn't. I did. Right. They don't want to hear about that. Say goodbye. Cheerio. That's my granddad Eugene. I went on naked attraction. Granddad, they don't want to hear it. See ya. Granddad, get back in there. There we go. Get back in there. So sorry about him. It's true. I know it's true. They don't, don't want to hear it. <laughs> now, um, what I would like to do for you next is um, show you some... Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm seasick. <laughs> Look, you often get seasick when you're travelling on the seven seas. There they are. There are seven of them, honestly. I've counted. I've counted. Uh, look, there's the Red Sea. Um, some people probably don't like this bit. Uh, they're sea and red. That's the same joke, just slightly different. <laughs> now, um, yeah, stick with it. I've got them all worked out. Look, 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 this one, this one. You have to be very, very careful with this one, all right? Very, very careful. Because it, it's very fragile. I bought it in town. It's a local delicacy. A local delicacy. Oh, never mind. Um... I like to call that bit my C-section. No. No. And I'll introduce you to another friend of mine now. Uh, he's a monkey and his name's Gordon. So without further ado, start the applause from home and welcome my friend Gordon the monkey. Gordon, come on out here. Uh, coming out here. Yeah, he's coming out and doing a bit. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, hello. Uh, we're doing Guildford Live. Guildford Live. Yeah, Guildford Live. It's Guilford Live. Guilford Live. Yeah, Guilford Live. Now, Gordon, what are you going to do to entertain everyone? I'm going to do my grand finale. What? I'm going to do my grand finale. <laughs> what do you mean? My grand finale. <laughs> right, you didn't tell me about this. I know. Right, what does your grand finale involve? Can I tell them? Yeah, you can tell them, yeah. Prepare to be amazed. There is going to be levitation. Juggling, acrobatics, linguistic gymnastics, and even ventriloquism. Ooh, go on, do it. Ooh, do it. I don't have to do it. Look, we're going to do all of those things at the same time, are we? Uh huh. I'm not sure how we're going to do this myself. <laughs> Look, Gordon, if you're going to do linguistic gymnastics, then you're going to need to warm up your voice. That's a good point. Right, okay. Warm up your voice. He's just going to warm up his voice. I can. What? I can't do it. Why not? I've forgotten how. Sorry. You've forgotten how to warm up your voice. Mm hmm. Look, me and Gordon are going to warm up his voice together and then we'll do his uh, grand finale. Yeah, his, his grand finale. Okay, so Gordon, we're going to sing a little scale to warm up your voice, all right? Okie dokie. Right, the first note of the scale is dough nuts. What? Dough nuts. <laughs> No, not donuts, just dough. No, no, stop it. Then it's Ray. Hooray! Sit down. It's Ray. Hooray! No, sit down. After that, it's me. You. No, me. You. No, me. Us. No, not us. Gordon, do you know what comes after me? The police. It's not the police. It's not the police. It is. It's not. It is. <laughs> it's not. It's far. How far? I can't be bothered to walk. No, that's, that's not what I meant. Then it's so. So what? I don't even care. Hey! The next note is la. Ooh la la! No, sorry. Gordon, sit up. Ooh la la! Gordon, sit up. Why are you doing that? I'm doing it for the ladies watching. The ladies watching don't want to see that. Now, ooh la la! Sit up. Now, what we're going to do... Gordon, what are you doing? I'm doing that face for the ladies. They don't want to see that face. Stop it. After la, it's tea. I don't like tea. I'll have a cappuccino. You might have a cappuccino. <laughs> and the last note is dough. You see, it's dough at the top and dough at the bottom. And jam in the middle. Not, not jam in the middle. <laughs> Look, now, Gordon, your voice is all warmed up and we are ready to do your grand finale. Well, I say do, I mean attempt. We're going to attempt it. So, so what, what do we need to do first? You're going to need some juggling balls. Juggling balls? I've got, I've got some here. Will these do? Yeah, they'll be perfect. Right, okay, so we're ready. No. What? No, I need to levitate. Your what? I'm going to levitate. You're not going to levitate. I'm going to levitate. All right, then go ahead. Here we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Hey, girl, for tonight, look at that. How am I doing that? It's amazing, isn't it? No strings, no wires. It's magic. It's his arm. Don't tell them. I think they know. <laughs> <laughs> look, right, what are we going to do, Gordon? Do you want to introduce your grand finale? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one and all, prepare to be amazed as I levitate in midair whilst he juggles these balls with one hand while standing on one leg. You what? While standing on one leg. If you say so. Whilst I recite the alphabet right backwards. What? I'm going to do the alphabet backwards. We're going to do all of those things at the same time. Mm-hmm. Wish us luck. Get donating. <laughs> Be nice and generous. This is for a good cause. And this might not go to plan. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> On your knees. Here we go. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, N, L, K, J. Take a breath. I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. Give it up for Gordon. Fantastic. Gordon, you get back in here. I did it, yeah. They know you did it. That was wonderful. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for supporting this wonderful event. Please be as generous as you can. That is all I've got time for. My name is Max Fulham. Oh, thank you very much. Max Fulham, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't he wonderful? And let's not forget all his wonderful guests. So sorry they're all living in that box, so I'm sure it's well decorated. <laughs> if you enjoyed his set, uh, don't forget to tell us. You can leave your comments in the comments section of this video and we'll share and answer as many of those as we can throughout the evening. Also, please, please, guys, don't forget to share this video. There's a button that says share underneath or next to the video, depending on what you're watching it on. If you share this video, it will get a far bigger reach and more people can enjoy the show. So please do share that. Now, as I said before, we are collecting for two wonderful charities during Guildford Live, and we are joined by one of them now. Welcome to Guildford Live to David. Hi, thank you for having me. David Smith is the head of fundraising at the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity. So, David, uh, tell us everything we need to know about the charity. Yes, yeah, certainly. So, we're a NHS charity that is dedicated to supporting our patients and staff at the Royal Surrey NHS Foundation Trust. So, that includes our main hospital in Guildford, but it also includes uh, Hazelmere, Cranley, and Milford. So all the things that we do is to support our patients and staff, so whether that being uh, purchasing state-of-the-art equipment, uh, innovative research, kind of, you know, forwarding the, uh, the answers of tomorrow for today's treatment, um, and delivering exceptional care for our patients. That's uh, what we do and what we get out of bed to do. So, we're, so some of the money we raised tonight, give us some examples where it might be spent. Um, so we've got a number of avenues at the moment. So we are currently working on our Closest Care campaign. Uh, which is a campaign to bring uh, people, well, parents together with uh, premature babies. So if their kids are going through treatment at a young age, it enables them to stay with their kids um, rather than having the stress of having to go away and come back day on day. Um, and currently, obviously, with the current situation, we're supporting our frontline staff. So we're really, really grateful to have uh, lots of avenues to do that. We have our Surrey Drive initiative, which is providing meals for our frontline staff so they don't have to have the stress of where they're going to get their next uh, food. We're able to get uh, tablets so they can stay in contact with their loved ones. So quite a few of us are having to isolate away from their families. So they're still able to treat our community. And likewise, so our patients, so patients that haven't been able to you know, see a loved one's face for, for a couple of weeks, um, have the provision to do so. And looking at other bits and bobs just to make sure everyone's safe and looked after, looked after for well in our community. Wow, you're doing some cracking work. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for everybody. Um, maybe we can end this interview with a positive message from the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity to the residents of Guildford. Certainly. Um, it's a simple message, if I'm honest. Uh, it's two words. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you guys are doing. Thank you for being such a terrific community and showing so much love for the staff um, and other people in your community. It's terrific to see people supporting small local businesses and supporting the staff that are doing their utmost to look after uh, to, to look after you guys so thank you from from us to you really means a lot and thank you david and all your team from us to you it really means the world everything you're doing so thank you so much david we'll do our very best to raise loads of cash for you guys this evening um 
on that note, uh, please do donate, guys, whatever you can afford to donate. All the details of how to donate are in the status of this video. Uh, remember, the money gets split between two wonderful charities, the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity, who we've heard all about, and the Wish Foundation, of which I'm a trustee of, and that our aim is to make the arts as accessible as possible to as many as possible. Now, we are heading over to see a very familiar face now. He is patron of Guildford Fringe Festival and star of The One Show. He's been reciting a different poem every day on his Twitter. If you've not seen them, do check them out. And he is with us now with a very special message for Guildford. Here is Giles Brandreth. Hello, it's Giles. And I'm here to say this. Guildford is glorious. Guildford is golden. Guildford is the best. I love poetry. I like short poems, like my favourite limerick. There once was a man from Peru whose limerick stopped at line two. I like longer poems too. And I have to say, this is my favourite. Four lines by Hilaire Belloc. From quiet homes and first beginning, out to the undiscovered ends, there's nothing worth the wear of winning but laughter and the love of friends. Here's to all the laughter I've had in Guildford, Here's to all the friends I've made in Guildford. Here's to a glorious, golden Guildford future. You're the best. See you soon. Giles Brandreth, everybody. Wonderful job, as always. And thank you so much for your continued support. As I mentioned, Giles is actually one of the patrons of Guildford Fringe. And at Guildford Fringe, we produce um, entertainment all year round. Um, Guildford Fringe Festival, Guildford's Adult Panto and our brand new Family Panto, which we produce just down the road in Godalming, just to name just a few. Um, like many of the people in the arts industry, we have been hit really, really hard, um, but we are doing our best to continue to entertain you. If you love what we do, then there are a few ways that you can support us. Um, you could become a friend of The Fringe, which means you'll pay a small monthly subscription to support all the stuff that we produce. You could donate to our own crowdfunder, which is crowdfund.co.uk uh, forward slash Guildford dash fringe dash festival, which means we might be able to bring the Fringe Festival back next year. Or you could just buy tickets to some of our events, which are coming up maybe in November or December. Um, this is a family show, so I thought an appropriate show you might want to book for is our family pantomime in Godalming. This year we're doing Beauty and the Beast, and if you, every ticket you buy means that we can go for a little bit longer. So you can find all the details at godalmingpanto.com. But anything you do would be appreciated. It means that we can continue to produce shows like this for you guys. But, 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 back to Guildford Live now. It was lovely to hear so much about the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity from David just now. I hope that's encouraged you guys to donate to this show, um, wherever you can, via the crowdfunder, which is in the, the link above my head now. Um, we are currently on just over £900, I think. Up next are some of my all-time best friends in the world. But first, we have a little message of thanks from the Guildford MP, Angela Richardson. A huge thank you, Guildford. So many people to thank but I would like to pay special heartfelt tribute to our frontline NHS staff for all that you do in very difficult conditions, to our carers out in the community who are looking after our loved ones. I'd like to thank our supermarket workers who have kept us fed during this time and those lorry drivers who have been out delivering to those supermarkets. There are so many of you involved in this process of helping us during the lockdown. And I would finally like to say a big thank you to everybody in Guildford. You have been sensible and you've been stoical and together we have made a difference. Let's keep going. Thanks. Thank you so much, Angela. Wonderful to hear from you. Um, our next guests have recently had over three million views on their latest single, uh, bring him home uh, on their Facebook and other channels. Um, they were joined by stars like Alfie Bow and a variety of other West End stars. Uh, the Barricade Boys are here with us tonight. Uh, let me just make sure he is there before I click over. I was in maybe in an awkward situation. Um, so we are going to go over to my one of my best friends in the world and co-founder of the Barricade Boys, Scott Garnham. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, my name is Scott Garnham. I'm one of the co-creators and founding members of the Barricade Boys, and it's an absolute pleasure uh, to be able to do this for you this evening. Uh, we've actually performed for Guildford Fringe at G Live for the past couple of years, uh, and so to be able to come and do this online this evening is a real treat. 
Uh, we've got some fantastic songs, a little medley we've put together from the era and the genre of Motown. So we hope you like this. Uh, I'm going to press a few buttons now and get the boys involved. Uh, and this is it. Enjoy. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside, I've got the rain I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, my girl, oh, talking oh, about oh, my girl, my girl. I got so much money to be there. I've got the sweetest song and a bird for the tree. Here we go. Come on, then. I Ain't no valley low enough, 
Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, baby. enough of Simon, the top right one, uh, waving to the crowd at the end. He is absolutely hilarious. Thank you so much. Let me just get to the next bit so I don't get ahead of myself. There we are. So that was the one and only Barricade Boys. Who enjoyed that? By looking at those comments, I think every single one of you, 300 odd people enjoyed that, as did we here. We were certainly dancing in our street, keeping social distancing, of course. Who, uh, please do continue to let us know Please do continue to let us know if you are watching. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and keep this show really, really nice and interactive. For the Barricade Boys information, jump onto their social media, search for the Barricade Boys, because they have a ginormous tour going out in 2021, so keep an eye out for that. Now, with donations-wise, we are up to... Bum, 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 bum. £1,365. Thank you so much to all you 42 people that have donated so far. We have well over 300 people watching, so if you've not donated, please do consider to donate if you can afford to do so. Right, I think we can all agree how lucky we are to live in Guildford. I know that we are feeling very lucky right now. I hope you've all been making use of your allocated exercise time. Um, myself, Charlotte, my wife and my beautiful dog, Jake, have certainly been enjoying our walks down by the River Way. But if you're fitter than me, which, let's face it, you probably are, you may have been running instead of walking. Very similar to our next guest. Here's Roger Black. Oh. Hi there, um, I'm Roger Black and I've been a resident of Guildford for well over 25 years now and feel so so lucky to live in this area. When uh, Nick asked me if I'd say a few words uh, in support of this wonderful event Guildford Live I was delighted to do so because we must acknowledge all the people who are just keeping this this town going every single day and, and give them our, our support. Um, th these are obviously tricky times um, and exercise has never been more important because one of the reasons we're allowed to go out of the house, one of the few reasons, of course, is to, to take some exercise. Um, and obviously I love to, to take my exercise. For me, I love to go for a run. And living in the Guildford area, I feel so lucky uh, when it comes to running because there are some great spaces where you can go out and run. Uh, my wife Jules and I, we run most days and we like to run in the Chantry Woods, which are magnificent at the moment because of the bluebells are out. But then you've got Stoke Park and you've also can, can run along the river. And of course, the most important thing is to respect the social distancing. And what we found in this area is that if we're, if we're out on a jog, um, everyone respects everybody. They move out of the way uh, and, and it's just everyone's there to support each other. So, so running is obviously aerobic exercise. Um, if you're not into running, if that's a bit too much, then you can do some walking. Uh, but what I'd say if you're going to go out for a walk is to, to do some active walking, to, to sort of walk with a purpose, because we want to get our hearts 
uh, uh, pumping and, and our lungs working and that's really important when you're walking. Uh, now for some people they choose to exercise at home. Um, options at home of course are to do general exercise and there are so many great options, so many great websites and content nowadays being produced for people to help them uh, to do some exercise at home. Uh, there's Joe Wicks, there are some, some athletes like myself, there's Kelly Holmes, there's Jess Ennis. So if you've got some, some home fitness equipment or you just want to change things around and know what to do, uh, the resources are out there for you. Now obviously in, in the Guildford area, a lot of people like to go cycling and you see cyclists on the road. The roads are much safer obviously, not many cars around. So if, if, if cycling is your thing, uh, please do that. The important thing during this time is to really think about moving. Think about taking some exercise and enjoy this wonderful area that we're lucky enough to live in. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, Guildford Live. Um, let's keep supporting all those amazing people in the Guildford area who do all the jobs that keep everything going that, that we, of course we usually take for granted but have never been more important than right now. Cheerio. Thank you so much to Roger Black for that lovely message and the exercise recommendations. We'll be checking those walks out. We really are blessed to be living in Guildford. So I'm now joined by leader of Guildford Borough Council, Councillor Caroline Reeves. And welcome to Guildford Live. Hi, Nick. Good As you all know, Guildford Borough Council have been a huge support with Guildford Live, so I thought it was really important to hear from them during the show. Um, although um, we've seen massive changes in our own lives, the residents of Guildford really haven't seen much of a change to the services that Guildford Borough Council provide them. This has, must have been quite a, a, a massive undertaking. How has it been possible? Uh, it's certainly been challenging, but uh, residents have always been our top priority. And uh, I have to say that all of the staff from Guildford Borough Council have been incredible. Um, we've managed to maintain all our frontline services, so all of the waste collection, um, all the other critical services are carrying on. Um, in some cases, we uh, obviously have had to change the teams if people have got unwell, and so there's been a lot of flexibility, but officers, as I say, have been fantastic. So all the critical services have, have ma been maintained. Um, and we're helping, obviously, uh, people will have heard about the work that we've been doing down at the Spectrum with the County Council, um, sending out food boxes from there, and the staff from Freedom Leisure have been involved in that, and they've been fantastic, they've been redeployed by us to work packing the boxes. And then we've got volunteers down at the Park Barn Centre and the Shawfield Centre also packing boxes. We've got volunteers driving. Um, I mean, it, it's just quite incredible what's been going on. Uh, but the fact that it's all had to be organised in such a short space of time, there wasn't any notice for this. It was kind of, OK, now you're going to do it. And people have really stepped up and, as I say, just been fantastic. And the key thing that we want to make sure we're doing is contacting as many people as we can and making sure that there isn't anybody that's slipping through the cracks. It will be awful to find out later that there was someone who we could have helped and we just didn't know about them. And so um, officers have been redeployed, answering phones, making calls. We've contacted all of the residents who live in our housing. Um, all the people that we know are vulnerable have been contacted and continue to be contacted to the point where some people have said, well, I've already spoken to you, why are you calling me again? <laughs> we need to make absolutely sure that we are reaching as many people as possible. And uh, the, the new phone lines that we set up have also been very well received and loads of calls. I mean, the stats are quite amazing. I won't go through all the numbers now, but we've been doing really good uh, work on social media just yeah. telling people who to call and the response we've had on that has been absolutely brilliant. Right. The social media has been smashing from the council, it's been really really clear. The staff and officers have clearly been working really really hard but this must only be possible with the cooperation from the residents of Guildford. Has there been an, an increase in communication with the people who live here and more of like a partnership feeling? Yeah definitely and it's one of the things that I think has been a really good outcome, if you can say that, for a pandemic. Um, there's been a lot more work within small communities and people helping each other. 
and then um, people contacting us to say they're worried about a resident, can we help them? Much better communication going on. Um, and then you've got the, the wider, more, in, more difficult things to deal with, like groups of people who are sewing scrubs. Sets of scrubs are being delivered to all of the hospitals around Surrey and the care homes. In their hundreds, it's really astonishing what people are doing and making masks. Obviously, they're not the really high quality ones that are needed in the ICU and so on, but um, just a real drive for people who want to be involved and want to help. And if they don't know how to help, they're contacting us and hopefully all of our councillors are out working in the community and feeding back information. So uh, it's, it's been really, really uplifting. And we've had some fantastic messages back as well. Um, <laughs> lots of people have been painting rainbows and putting them in their windows. And we've had, um, uh, well, we had locally a bear hunt. People put their teddy bears in the window and the kids went round and spotted the teddy bears and an Easter egg hunt. And it's really, really encouraging that people have been very ingenious in finding ways of actually maintaining what they're supposed to be doing and very sensibly keeping two metres apart, all of that, but um, managing to entertain themselves as well. Yeah. And finally, I'd love it, um, a message from Guildford Borough Council from yourself to the residents of Guildford. Um, a big thank you, actually. I think that uh, the response to all the restrictions has been very positive and uh, we need to, people to remain following the instructions and we have to do that because we need to protect the NHS and all the work that's going on there and the more we can do that then the more likely we are to try and stop the spread um, of this virus um, and we just need people to look out, look out for each other and maintain that um, feeling of community and make sure that there isn't anybody who is feeling alone and in need of support. Um, I hope everybody has a really good time watching Guildford Live. Thank you so much for doing this. It's great to be working with you, Nick. Um, and it's really, this is the sort of thing we need at a time like this. Lots of positive thinking. And uh, at some point we'll come out the other side. It'll be a very different world. I don't think we're ever going to go back to how it was. And it's going to be very challenging. But um, good luck to everybody and stay well. Thanks, Nick. No, thank you so much, Caroline. And, and, a, and a thank you from myself and all the residents of Guildford to you and all your teams who have just done an incredible job, as you said, with no notices. They've all stepped up and it's really quite um, wonderful to see. A couple of special thank yous just from me personally. I wanted to thank uh, Steve Benbow and Emma McBriarty from the communications team at Guildford Borough yeah. who have been an absolute pleasure to work with. They've really supported Guildford Live. So thank you both and thank all the teams at Guildford Borough Council. Thank you ever so much. Now, we were thankfully inundated with people that wanted to be involved with the first ever Guildford Live. And this next chap is an absolute local legend, Bruce Foxton from The Jam. And then keeping on the theme of music, we have Tom George, who is the local rock choir leader. So get yourselves warmed up. Over to you, Bruce. Hi, everyone. I've always loved Guildford and consider myself lucky to think of it as home. But seeing how the people of Guildford are working together to look after each other, just incredible. It really is bringing out the very best in so many. Not seeing family and friends is hard on us all, but at least we have the technology to keep in touch. And thanks to Guildford Fringe to help keep us entertained with Guildford Live. So enjoy the show and remember, stay at home, save lives and protect our amazing NHS. We'll get through this. Okay, so I think we're live. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Tom, and uh, I run the local rock choirs uh, based in Guildford, but also in Farnham and Godalming and surrounding areas. If you're from rock choir out there, hello, lovely to see you. And uh, thank you so much for Nick and the team inviting me here to be part of this event. Um, I'm here to do some singing, just some singing with you guys. We're going to warm up our voices, and I've got a little kind of fun thing that we're going to do. So first things first, just kind of give your shoulders a bit of a roll. Very good. And backwards. Okay, take a stretch out with your arms. Take a breath in, breathing in. Let your arms drop, breathe out. And again, take a breath in, breathe in. 
Let your arms drop, breathe out. Very good. Stretching up with your elbows. Oh, open up the cavities between our ribs. Make sure our body can resonate as we sing. And backwards. Lovely stuff. Okay, give yourself a wiggle. One palm up, take a breath in again. Breathe out. And the other palm up, breathe in, take a breath in. Breathe out. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do some very gentle scales. We're just going to sing a yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Now, you may have noticed that I'm singing like a girl. Don't worry, it's just a thing that I do. Um, you'll get used to it. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Try it with me. Ready? And yum, 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 yum. We're going to move up the scale with me. Ready? And yum, 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 yum. Moving up. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Moving up. Yum, 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Keep going. Yum 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 yum. You can do it. Yum 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 yum. 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 Couple more. Yum 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 yum. One more. I'll let you do that one on your own because it was quite high. Okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just crack on and do some fun singing of a song. Uh, that's a very brief warm up, but I'm hoping it'll kind of would have got you in the mood a little bit. We're going to sing a song uh, by a band called Elbow, okay, on a day like this. And and the words are really simple. You don't need a lyric sheet for this. The words are throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Okay, say that again. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Okay, now what I want you to do out there in internet land is this. I want you to pick, uh, you've got four choices, right? First one is low, second one is middle, third one is high, and then you've got lucky dip. So. Take a moment, have a think of which one of those parts you want to sing. High, middle, low, lucky dip. Okay, so if you chose the low, you chose well. You've got the tune. I'm going to ask you guys to sing this. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Try it with me. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. One more time with me. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. On your own. Well done. One day like this a year would see me right. Very good. Okay. Now, if you chose the middle part, what you guys are going to sing is this. You're going to sing. Throw those curtains wide One day like this a year would see me right Throw those curtains wide One day like this a year would see me right With me again Throw those curtains wide One day like this a year would see me right Well done! Okay if you chose the high section, you've got this that you're going to be doing. Have a listen. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Try with me again. Throw those curtains wide. How's that working out for you all? Okay, we've got the three parts. We've still got Lucky Dip to come. Okay, let's see if we can put those three parts together. Now, those of you that are experienced singers, and perhaps you're even a member of Rock Choir, and you know what you're doing here. You go easy, okay? Just sing out for me. That's all good. Anyone who's brand new to this, just kind of work your way in. See how it feels. Now, I'm going to use my little machine over here. Oh, yeah. Good times. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with the lower part. All right, keep going. Here we go. So starting with the low part. Two, three, and throw those curtains wide. One day like this a year would see me right. Okay, do it with a 
clap. Here we go. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. Let's try the middle parts. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. And again. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. With the high part. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. And again. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. Okay, sounding good, sounding good, sounding good. So, who chose Lucky Dip? Who chose Lucky Dip? Who chose Lucky Dip? Ah, very good. You chose well. All right, so if you're, um, if you're new to this, and you're new to singing, this, this lucky dip bit is the easiest bit. It's really famous. You're going to sing this. It goes like this. And na, 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 hey, Jude. Listen again. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 hey Jude. Try it with the machine. Here we go. Na, 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 hey Jude. You can do it. And again, I was in the air. Na, 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 hey Jude. Let's get the other bits involved. Here we go. Throw those curtains wide. With the lower part, throw those curtains wide. Middle part coming in. Here we go. Middle part. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see right. And again, throw those curtains wide. Time round, come on. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. Let's do it acapulco, acapella. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me rise. One more time round, come on, hand. Throw those curtains wide. One day like to see you would see me Done, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Pats on backs. Good times. Excellent stuff. So listen, thank you so much for being with me today. I do hope you enjoyed the session. If you want to find anything more out about Rock Choir, then check out our website, which is rockchoir.com. I'm running choirs virtually uh, throughout the whole summer. And uh, if you want to come and be part of that, you can find out more information from our website or... Uh, Find me on Facebook and we'll go on from there. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy it. I'll see you. Welcome back to Guildford Live. Thank you so much to Tom George. I should have done that warm up before the show started, probably. But as always, a great job from Rock Choir. We absolutely adore you guys. I am now joined by Louise, Chief Executive of the Royal Surrey County Hospital. Um, and firstly, Louise, I just wanted to say from everyone in Guildford, thank you so much for everything you and your staff are doing. It's so much appreciated. You keeping us safe at these times. And um, I'd say, Every Guildford resident has got their own memories of being at the Royal Surrey County Hospital. Um, my own is having my appendix out and also having um, stitches in this scar on my forehead when I wanted to see how far I could cycle my bike with my eyes shut. Now, I was a child, not saying there's much of an excuse there. Uh, the Royal Surrey um, Hospital is, is right in the community and um, I guess perhaps you've not felt quite as much love and as appreciation as you are right now. And um, Some of the stories we've been seeing on social media have been really, really heartwarming. It must have made such a difference to you, the doctors, nurses, and all the staff of the hospital to, to receive these messages. 
Yes, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, we've had such an outpouring of support from the local community. So to Surrey Drive, who've made us uh, hundreds and thousands of free meals that they deliver every day so that our staff can just go over and get a ready meal and take it back to have on their break. Uh, to the Harlequins who have given up their training facility for us so the junior doctors can go over there and, you know, just get away from being in the middle of A&E or dealing with COVID patients because uh, it's only just over the road to the 4,000 Easter eggs we had delivered. Uh, at the end of this, we're going to find everybody who's been at home is going to be sort of bronzed and, and fit having been in their garden. And everybody who's been working in the hospital is going to be pale and have put on about two stone. But, I, um, <laughs> I think that it's been absolutely brilliant. And everybody's appreciated every single thing we've got from hand sanitizers and knitted hearts. I mean, it's been unbelievable. The list could go on forever. I saw a, a video last week of, I think it was your 100th um, patient being discharged from the Royal Surrey. Um, it was a wonderful video. That must make such a difference to kind of see the reaction. What, what has the general feedback been from the general public, the people you've been helping? So uh, I think everybody has been absolutely wonderful. I mean, I think 100, 115 um, discharge patients with COVID as of today. So I think that we're all trying to make life in the hospital as normal as it can be in these extraordinary circumstances. So actually it's, you know, the doctors and nurses are doing an amazing job as are the porters, the cleaners, the catering staff, but actually the families of the patients who are at home. So if you've just had a stroke or you've, you've just had something else that your family member is in, in the hospital and you can't go and visit them and you can't go and tell them how important they are to you. So, we really, really appreciate how difficult it isn't just for our own staff, but for the relatives of the patients who are in with us as well. Um, we really, you know, we support the fact we haven't, we haven't had anybody who's, who's been difficult about that at all. They've all accepted that for the best of the whole community, we need to make sure the patients we've got in the hospital are safe. I thought it'd be nice to end with a message from the Royal Surrey uh, to the residents of Guildford. Would you, what, what would you say to them? So, as you said right at the beginning, I think that the Royal Surrey is absolutely the heart of Guildford and we are the biggest employer. Um, we really, really appreciate the, the sort of the love we've seen from the whole of Guildford during this. And we hope that once we get out of this, uh, we will continue to be able to provide the absolutely amazing health and care that we do, uh, not just through our through our Royal Surrey site, but all through, also through our sites in Hazelmere and Milford. Uh, we often talk about a Royal Surrey family, and I think that the whole family of Guildford has really taken us to their heart. So thank you so much. And thank you so much. Um, thank you once again. And, and I really hope uh, as many of your staff are getting to watch this show as possible, because it is all for them. Thank you for being with us. Um, now we're coming to the end of Guildford Live now, sadly, and we have one last act before we go and go and jump on our doorsteps and thank all the key workers, including the staff of the Royal Surrey. Um, before we do that, we have a bit of a party time for you. We've warmed up physically with Flavia and we just warmed up vocally with Tom George from the Rock Choir. So we are all right, fine voice, physically fit, ready to join in with Charlie Farley Sunday 4. Hi, boys. How are you doing over there, guys? Hi, yep, we're doing good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having us on your show. Uh, we're all in lockdown, uh, which obviously means uh, being stuck here on Farley Island, uh, a, a, an island that would be a complete paradise were I not stuck here with the rest of this. Uh, unfortunately, they, they are also in lockdown here, which means the daily routine of hiding Bruce's bagpipes and... Uh, trying to control Adam's gaffer fetish and really? stopping JW, obviously, from sucking all the alcohol out, the wipes. Uh, but other than that, it's gone quite well. Uh, and we've been rehearsing up some stuff and uh, going to play some of it for you now, hopefully. I'm going to count the boys in and we'll see how this works. So, of course, it will work fine because we're all stuck on the same island, aren't we? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four.
work it down. next one I just want to say a word about who we are uh, we're the Farleys we're a family band we're all brothers uh, all from the same mother but not necessarily as you can probably tell by our contrasting visages the same father uh, all the songs we play were written by our mother but over the years a lot of the songs have been stolen from her which is why they may sound familiar to you for example this one uh, which was stolen from my mother and was so popular that it was actually turned into two separate songs both of them hits that meant, of course, twice the lawyers for us and uh, twice the lost cases. Uh, right, let's uh, let's try and play this one, shall we? I'll try and count your voice. One, two, three, four. To find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, then we talk slow. Come on over and start up a conversation with just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance. Take my hand, stop, put the gentleman on the jukebox, and then we'll start to dance. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me Boy, don't talk too much Jump on my place and put your arms around me Come on now, follow my lead Come on now, follow my lead Ooh. I'm in love with the shape of you Push and pull like a magnet do Though my heart is torn in two I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room Now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body 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 Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your shape of Love is a guy who fixes his fly And it's also known as a buster Always thinking about what he wants And sits on with your body every day is 
discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of a wild. Susie and it dates back to a time when uh, most girls were smaller than two foot one and uh, universally called Susie and they would walk in a peculiar way. I think that makes sense of that. Mama wrote it, got stolen, turned into two songs, we lost the lawsuit, you know the rest. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, two, three. If they move too quick away, oh, they're falling down like a domino. All the birds are men by the now, they got the money on a bet. Don't cross the dials away, oh, they snap the teeth on the cigarette. Fall the tops with a hook, I pop, say, way, oh, way. Egyptian. 
walk like an Egyptian. Thank you very much for having us. Stay safe and stay well. We love you all. Hope to see you at a time when you're not too scared to come to a room full of sweaty dancing people. Until then, just keep dancing in the lounge. Where the Farleys. Hey, Charlie Farley, Sunday 4. Thank you so much. They are one of my, oh, my screen's fallen down. Let me just adjust that. Oh, it's loose. There we are, live live TV for you, modern day TV. Anyway, uh, thank you so much again to the Charlie Farley Sunday Four, one of my all-time favourite bands, and all local residents to Guildford, although they are very often all over the country on tour as Al Murray's house band. Uh, so, what is coming up next? We are coming to the end of the show, unfortunately. We have seen some incredible acts already, but we are coming to the end. Let me hear you say, ah. Thank you to everyone that's donated so far. We are, let's have a quick little tally up. We did crack the £2,000 mark about five minutes ago. We're now on £2,225. That is incredible. I did set a target, though, for £2,500. So if you can help us get to that, please, please do. The crowdfunder is going to be going for, and I think it's another 13, 12 days left of the crowdfunder because I'm going to keep this on our Facebook page as the show and I'm also going to rip it off and put it on our YouTube channel so you can pass it around your friends and family and hopefully we can get our donations well beyond two and a half thousand pounds. So we are doing um, at Gilford Fringe a shed load of live shows at the moment. Obviously we can't go into venues like the back room of the Star Inn. I know Pip, the manager of the Star, is watching now. Hi Pip, thank you for everything and all your support. We're so sorry not to be with you doing this show which is absolutely heartbreaking but we are going to carry on. We're doing absolute loads at the moment, everything ranging from opera magic shows, loads of comedy, we've got some theatre plans, so do please join in and come and watch our shows. The best way to find out about all of them is to join our mailing list, and you can do this at guildfordfringe.com, and if you scroll down the, the home page, you'll come to an orange banner, which is where you can put your email in. If you put your email in and click go, you'll then get an email from MailChimp as our provider, and they will ask you to verify your email address. You need to click on the verified link and then you will be added to the Guildford Fringe mailing list. So you'll hear about all of our shows, including things like this. Um, talking of shows, I mean, would you guys be interested in another Guildford Live, for instance? Um, now, I'm not promising you anything, because this has been the biggest project that I've ever produced in our career at Guildford Fringe, but it has been a huge amount of fun and a huge privilege as well. So if you would watch Guildford Live again, I will try and get acts to the calibre you've just watched once again which will be a hard task because that is a, a star-studded lineup. But do let us know if you want it again, and we'll do our best to do it in a couple of weeks' time. So it's almost, what time is it now? Five to eight. It's almost um, 8 p.m. So at 8 p.m. we're going to do a joint. I don't want you to go anywhere. We're going to do a joint clap on your doorsteps. Our door's just there. We're all going to go out. And the goal is to make this the loudest and most enthusiastic thank you to the key workers, NHS staff, and all those wonderful people out there who are keeping our borough going and keeping us all safe so do hang around for that we've got loads and loads more to come uh, to that I want to really say a massive thank you to the people who have been involved with this show because uh, when I came up with the idea for Guildford Live I thought I'm gonna send a few messages to some names and some local celebrities and some local acts like Charlie Farley boys and I'm expecting 90% of them to say sorry Nick it's a bit too technical for us not this time maybe next time but I can say with all honesty and hand on my heart, every single person that I messaged uh, said yes almost immediately. So thank you so much to Flavia, uh, Tony Hadley, Max Fulham, who lives in Farnham, by the way, just down the road, Giles Brandreth, our dear, loving patron, the Barricade Boys, the incredible Barricade Boys, thank you so much. Uh, Roger Black, that advice on exercise is really, really crack cracking, and, and it makes me really excited to get back out there and find new places to go for our walk. Uh, Bruce Foxton, who has been incredible right from the word go, he has really helped us promote this event. So thank you, Bruce, and to his wife, Kate, uh, who also works for Guildford Borough Council. So thank you, Kate, for all, everything you've done for us. Tom George from the Guildford Rock Choir. I can honestly say that we've done many events live over the years, and um, every time we've done one, we've always called Tom up and said, 
I know you're busy, mate, but will you do this? And he has always said yes. So thank you so much, Tom. And finally, to the wonderful Charlie Farley Sunday Four, who have been um, part of Guildford Fringe since we set up. They are one of our headline acts. They are just stunning. So thank you all those acts for being part of the first ever Guildford Live. We really hope to come back. And thank you guys for coming and see if there's any more donations. We've had 81 donations so far. 81 donations. Thank you so much. That means the world to all of us at Guildford Fringe and Guildford Borough Council. So we are going to go to our doorsteps, but we have a rather special treat. So a couple of weeks ago, you may have seen that I put out a, a message on our social media and our email list asking for people to send in their videos of them clapping on their doorsteps for us to include tonight so we can all feel like we're doing it together. Well, anyway, that message got um, spread quite far. <laughs> it got spread to Germany. Some of our fans, Rita and Klaus over in Germany, we love you guys. And it also got spread up to Scotland. And to play us in to our clap for our carers, our NHS staff and our key workers, we have a rather special treat. Karen Kennedy is playing live streaming from Scotland at the bagpipes with the most beautiful backdrop up in, I need to make sure I say this right, Ardelve, Ardelve in Scotland. So please enjoy and join us for a clap for our care workers, NHS staff and key workers and then come back to finish the show with us. So don't close this screen, please, please do come back and we'll see you in about two minutes. Leave this screen open as you go to clap for the key workers. Here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, let's shut my front door. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, that was incredible. We can really hear you all clapping out there. We are in Burfham, so we're going to have a nice little volume of the whole of Guildford. Thank you so much for everybody joining in. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the first ever Guildford Live. It has been, I mean, it was terrifying to start with, don't get me wrong, but it's been a complete pleasure to produce and present this show to say thank you 
Thank you to all the NHS workers and our key workers in our borough. Honestly, it means the world and it's keeping us all going. Thank you so much. As I said before, the crowdfund will be open for another 12 days. So I'm going to keep this show live on our Facebook feed. Let's do another count up while we're here. Farm count up for the show is £2,335, which will be split between the Wish Foundation and the Royal Surrey County Hospital Charity. So thank you so much. Please keep donating and please keep sharing this link so we can get more and more money. Uh, thank you to everyone who contributed to the show tonight, whether that was an act or a wonderful positive message. Uh, please do let us know what you thought of the show by commenting on the, on the post uh, or sending us a message on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. From myself, Nick Wishner at Guildford Fringe and all of the leadership team and the whole team at Guildford Borough Council, thank you for being here. Thank you for donating and thank you for appreciating all of our key workers. Stay in, stay safe, and we'll keep doing what we do and we'll keep entertaining you right up until the end. So thank you so much for joining us. Keep the arts alive and we'll see you next time. Keep donating, guys.